Good afternoon. This is an update on the Project Tractor, uh, uh, Bolens G192, um, also named Daisy Duke. Um, got her in May and had a bunch of work to do on her. Um, most notably was fixing the three-point hitch lift, um, which took probably until late June, early July. But it's gone to Maine to uh, grade the camp road and uh, it's been working pretty good so I did put together a snow plow for it so I'm um, just gonna go over that so this is a 48 inch gravely um, snow plow uh, dozer blade from the 1960s I do have a model L over in the corner that needs to be rebuilt badly but this was one of the things that my grandfather had and uh, I used occasionally down in Connecticut growing up with the L uh, but needed a snow plow for up here uh, at the house so what this is is a um, trailer mover uh, not expensive um, just arrived last week and so I've got that on the three-point hitch and an adapter which uh, we had around uh, for many years and what was on there was a uh, pintle hitch uh, attachment um, so just redrilled that to the uh, proper uh, hole pattern for the gravely plow um, and then that just goes in with the pin so very easy to take off so it can be uh, back to a trailer mover in a matter of a few minutes now, this has got bigger tires on it, so the total width is almost five feet. Um, so the four foot uh, blade would not have been wide enough. Um, so I had some pressure treated uh, two by sixes around. So just for proof of concept, uh, bolted those on. And there's a couple little skids on the end just to keep the center of the the blade up maybe a half an inch off the driveway um, just so I don't ruin the the wood too soon um, so I did you can see there's a little snow on it um, we had our first you know moderately um, notable snow we had about four inches so I had it out earlier and I'll probably post the video of that but it worked really good um, the tractor is light enough that if you hit an obstruction uh, it'll probably stop the tractor. I caught the, the curb um, when I was plowing and it didn't break anything. That was my biggest fear. Uh, when I had a rig like this on the back of the Suburban, there's enough weight and horsepower that, you know, you can bend things or break things, uh, you know, light duty pretty easily. So anyway, I thought I'd just show you this to you. Um, I'll get it painted up and uh, it should work out very well this year. So more on that. Thank you.